Welcome back to Maple Leafs Media. As always, I'm Jake Varco, and as you can see, it's a beautiful day. I'm enjoying the sunshine out here, and you know what? The Toronto Maple Leafs, yet again, have made a decision, a mind-boggling decision that's disturbing my peace a little bit. They're scratching Michael Bunting for Game 5. After, su after serving a three-game suspension, they're deciding to scratch a guy who scored 23 goals in back-to-back -back seasons. Now, I understand how you want to hold players accountable for their actions. Michael Bunting, he made a boneheaded play on Eric Chernak in Game 1 of the series. That could have been really costly for his team. Uh, a game that they lost and... He had to serve a three-game suspension afterwards. You do the crime, you pay the time. Michael Bunting's done that. And at the left wing position, the Toronto Maple Leafs are pretty thin. That's a position of need for them. And Michael Bunting has been their most productive left winger pretty much all year and even going back to last year. I understand that he is someone who he plays with emotion, he plays with his heart on his sleeve, and sometimes makes those boneheaded plays not something you can afford to see in the playoffs. However, I mean, you can use that emotion in the playoffs, and this is just someone who can be a spark for the team. Michael Bunting has been a productive left winger, and I don't like this idea of scratching him. I know a lot of people wanted to see him scratch, and there's a lot of jokes about how He's like Nazem Kadri, getting suspended in the playoffs, putting his team in a bad situation. But the thing is, the Maple Leafs put Bunting in a bad situation too. There was no way Michael Bunting should have been on the top line at the left wing position in the playoffs going up against a team who's going to try to antagonize him. Michael Bunting should have been in the bottom six this entire time. When you're looking at the Maple Leafs lineup, there's a couple guys that come to mind that they could substitute Michael Bunting for. Zach Aston Reese and Sam Lafferty. No, not Michael, not Matthew Nyes. Nyes has been a very productive left winger. He hasn't gotten on the board with his first NHL goal yet, but that is brewing. He's been outstanding. Michael Bunting should be in the Toronto Maple Leafs lineup. That's my opinion. I want to know your opinion in the comments section down below. I'm sure a lot of people are going to say that they don't want to see Bunting suit up in a Maple Leafs lineup ever again. But I wouldn't go that far. Michael Bunting can produce for the Leafs. He's proved it time and time again. 23 goals in back-to-back -back seasons. I think the Maple Leafs should be playing him. Uh, this, we've seen series go sideways real quick for the Toronto Maple Leafs. And I don't want to see it again. So what I'm seeing with this move is a conservative Toronto Maple Leafs team. They're playing like, okay... If, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And I completely understand that. But Michael Bunting, he can be a big boost for this team in Game 5 back home in Toronto. That's just my opinion. I want to know your thoughts in the comments section down below. And stay tuned for tomorrow night's uh, reaction. Game 5, I'll be back here with Clarky on Maple Leafs Media. If you haven't already, make sure you click that notification bell to be notified every time new content's being released here and uh if you like the video drop a thumbs up thank you